In this video I'm just going to show you how you can uh, take a custom shape and fill the custom shape with a gradient and with that gradient turn it into a smart object and then combine that with other gradients and so on and so on to create a really extremely colourful custom shape. First thing to do, just go over to the custom shape tool and select shape option and the designs I'll be using are diamond design shapes but of course you could use any shapes these are from graphic extras just quickly apply that shape it's a vector design any size it can be so next thing to do go to a layer layer style and I'm going to go for the gradient overlay right, first one there now this is gradient from a graphic extras as well, but of course you could use any of the gradients that come with Photoshop. There's a whole range of different gradients there. Quite a decent selection of gradients to choose from. Once you've done that, click OK. Go to a layer. Smart objects, convert to smart object. Now you can go for layer, layer style and gradient overlay. Defaults, of course, to this one, but uh, well, I could actually change that, make a default to another one, but I'm just gonna go for that one. Makes default. Now, I'm gonna go for difference. And you can move that, of course, you can just move that around so you can actually create different uh, gradient colors just by uh, moving that around. Of course, you don't have to go with that angle, you can actually move it at a different angle. Or you could go for radial, maybe make a circular design click ok now you can go to layer smart objects convert to smart object and do the same you just go to layer layer style gradient overlay now go for radial again Maybe move it over there go for again difference and you can like I say combine there click OK go to layer and smart objects convert to smart object and do the same and you can see where I'm going you just basically could just do this continuously just keep basic making ever more complicated and complex designs depending on, of course what you want to achieve radial design again and go for difference and you can now, the one thing about this, why I'm using smart objects, is that these designs are changeable at any point. So if you decide, I don't like that gradient, or I don't like that setting, like radial, you can go back and edit that design. So there you have it, you've got a custom shape with a slightly more complex, colorful design than you would get from a normal gradient or pattern, maybe. And it's also editable at any point. Maybe not in a traditional way, like just there with the usual fill, but you've got a definite design that can be changed. When I quickly show you, just basically double click on that, goes into the gradient, and then you can double click on that. Double click on that. Double click on that. And you basically back to the core shape. Gone through all the various PSP files. Now it would be nice actually, it would be quite a decent feature it would be if you actually had maybe a string of smart objects there to make so you could actually just click on the last one so you go straight to the the bottom layer but maybe that's something for another version of Photoshop and of course you can modify the design and still flexible still a vector design which you can change tweak okay I hope you found this of interest thank you much